Okay, so let me tell you the story about a guy named Frank. And Frank was born of a French, a mother who was French and a father who was American. He was born in the Bronx, New York City. And uh, unfortunately at the age of 12, um, his parents separated. And then by the age of 15, they had divorced. And so Frank went to live with his father in Mount Vernon, um, New York. Um, things didn't work out so well. Frank decided to just leave home completely. And the, the show that we're going to do is about, is about Frank. Um, it is not about Baby Shark, do, 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 Baby Shark, do, 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 Baby Shark, do, do, it's not about that. So, let's see, Frank, um, he left home. He was unhappy. Yeah, they were trying to get him to choose between mom and dad, who's he gonna stay with? And he's like, I can't do this. So he dropped out of school, 15 years old, and he went on basically the run, okay? And a series of events take place in which he meets a lot of people. He experiences a lot of things. Um, everyone he comes in contact, including himself, sing a lot of songs. They dance a lot of dances. It's a musical, right? Set in the 1960s, this rousing musical is based on the unbelievable true story of one of the most famous con artists in history. So I think now would be a good time to check out some video clips of the show that we're going to do. Cindy, Mindy, Lindy, Kelly, Shelly, Nelly, Sherry, Terry, Carrie, and Jane. I like to call them the Jet Set. Brooklyn with a frown upon my face Just left Wisconsin Where there's cheese enough to start this rat race But thanks to the brothers right We don't know where we'll sleep tonight Yeah, I'm a bird in the sky And tomorrow when I rise I'll wake up in Paris With a new love in my heart the kid writing the article for the school paper uh, yes sir frank black from monroe high school i want to know everything there is to know about being a pan am pilot for example what does it mean one pilot says to another i've been on the same equipment all week jumping puddles for the weak and weary means they've been flying the same plane short flights mostly commuters right and what about those id badges i've seen pilots wear every pilot should have it with them at all times it's an airline personnel badge like this one here from Pan Am. Thank you for your time, sir. Can I get a photo? Sure. Got it. Would you like your music and mystery? Each and every day, blues the same old music and history. Make a new friend, then fly away. Batch. How cool is that? Awfully young to be a pilot, aren't you? Oh, I get that a lot. I'm just a co-pilot. Well, why so nervous? Well, how would you feel if you lost your uniform first week on the job? I hear you. That'll be one forty-three ninety-seven. Great. Can I write you a check? No, no checks, no cash. Just need your employee number. Right. It's six one four zero. Three, five. Great, I'll build Pan Am and I'll take it out your next paycheck. Even better. Would you like 
like a sleigh ride, a hay ride. You know, just say home, but you are just set there, yet set. Leave behind Kansas, there's no place like Rome. Get you down to the bottom of the way, trip to split hills. Swedish, Greek, or Japanese. A stewardess is trained to please. So if you got what it takes to love, then fly this bird like you can stop. It's a jet, it's just a holiday, and it gets a goes up, up the way, so up. Right down to Italy, we'll have Bella Femina. Jump in a fountain. Woo! Jump, jump, let your shape be up. If your tastes run more than skate. Well, then we know a joint is all fun day. So hang on tight, let's loop to loop. It's time to fly this chicken himself. Back up the suitcase, set your worries at the gates. Come out and play right through the world. Well, I got my goodie bag and it's time for me to go. So let's get up and leave the dental office today. Hey, hey, it's Lucero family day today. Look who else is at the dentist. And look who else is at the dentist today. All right, buddy, we'll see ya. Okay, no cavities. No cavities. Thank you very much. Thank you. like a new dad so the cool thing about this show is that there are a lot of parts for a lot of people, right? Now, some of them are obviously are, are really big, and then even the smaller roles or the, um, the ensemble roles or the feature dancer roles have their own singing vocals as well, like um, small solos within the song. So um, I'm excited because a lot, of, a lot of you will have the opportunity to be heavily involved with the show. So back here at school now, just finished up with our classes so I can dedicate some more time to finish this video so I can let you know what the plan is, right? But again, I think it's important that you understand some of these characters. Now I think you're going to, some of you will be familiar with the show. Some of you will be familiar with a movie of the show and it's just a fun show. It's just fun. So. So before I reveal it, I want to show you another clip or two from the show. So we begin the story as Frank is captured by an FBI agent named Carl Hanratty. And Carl Hanratty has been pursuing Frank for many years. Frank, however, believes that the audience deserves to hear his version of the truth. And so he narrates his life as a hip, dance-heavy variety television show. We see Frank as a teenager run away from his unhappy home to live a life of great adventure. But he cons people in the process by pretending to be an airline pilot, a doctor, and lawyer, among other careers. 
It's a fun, rollicking musical with the same creative team who did Hairspray. It's not him. Hold it right there! Oh, freeze! Shit, freeze! Stop where you are! You're gonna have to cut off! Someone cut him off! Close the terminal! Close the terminal! I'm gonna shoot! Come as close, you can hurt someone! Look, Frank, I'd rather take you alive than dead! Can I at least make a statement first at the airport? No! I'm, I'm sure these people wanna know why you're shooting at me. I think they should know who I am and what I did and why I did it. This is one of your tricks, man. You're, you're, not, you're not going to fool me again like you did in that hotel room in LA. You're not putting on a show for these people. A show? A show. <laughs> We need some lights. The hell is he doing? Is the technique. Cameras. And the Frank Abagnale Jr. Orchestra. Frank, what the hell are you doing? Grand. God, get everyone out of here. My name is Frank William Abagnale Jr. This is my story. These people have musical instruments. I was a millionaire twice over and half again before I was 21. I stole every nickel of it. I flew over five million miles as a Pan Am pilot, practiced medicine at a top Atlanta hospital, and worked as a prosecutor for the state of Louisiana, all under assumed names. Mr. Hanratty here thinks he has all the facts, but only I know just how I did it. And I did it in style. Alive in living color, let me take you for a ride. Yes, I'm live in living color. So sit back and let me be your TV. TV special? Modesty has never been one of my virtues. The virtue has never been one of your virtues. I've got a story I'd like to tell. But I'm gonna need help to tell it well. I've got a story about fame and money. And it's got more curves than a Playboy bunny. I wanna live and not just survive. I wanna tell my story live and in living color. Live and living color. For the love that fuels up tonight. Yes, I'm live and living color. My face lives in black and white. Ladies and gentlemen, the Frank Abagnale Jr. singers and dancers. Enough! Folks, listen, by the time this guy was 20 years old, he had stolen more than $1.8 million. He's a con man, plain and simple. It has been since the age of 16 when he built 20 grand from his father's mobile card to buy presents for girls. When he got caught, his only excuse was, I like girls. Now, tell the folks how I like girls becomes, I'm wanted on five continents. Your ability to miss from manure is truly impressive. Thank you. Live in living color, and it's brought to you by me. Yes, some live living color. This won't fit in your TV. My parents, Fred and Paula Abagnale. Ah. Uh, my parents met in France, a little village called Marmachard. After the war, my dad was a GI, and my mother was young and beautiful. The people in that little French village were so happy to see Americans that they decided to put on a show for us. So they crammed 200 GIs into a tiny social hall. And the first person to walk on stage is your mother, and she starts to dance. The men are literally holding their breath. And I turned to my buddies and I said, I, I am not leaving France, France without, without that woman. <laughs> I always get into trouble when I dance with you. I could watch them dance all night. Hey, come on, I can't give you both your parents. Don't try to sell me some sentimental picture of domestic uh, bliss. As for characters in the show, we have Frank Abagnale Jr. We have Detective Carl Hanratty and his fellow detectives. 
Paula Abagnale, who is Frank's mother. She's French, and so she speaks with a French accent. Then there's Frank's father, Frank Abagnale Sr. We have Brenda Strong, who is a nurse and a love interest of Frank. We have Carol Strong, Brenda's mother, and Roger Strong, who is uh, Brenda's father. And of course, we also have many featured roles as doctors, nurses, detectives, pilots, flight attendants, and more. Okay, and if you haven't figured it out by now, the show is Catch Me If You Can. And now I'm just gonna close with one final uh, musical number. And this is when Carl Hanratty is speaking to his detectives about the importance of not breaking the rules, of living by the rule of law. And that's kind of his whole philosophy while he chases Frank Abagnale Jr. Is it Frank Abagnale Jr. has done something wrong, he's broken the law, and it's his duty to the American people. It is his duty to all that's right in the world to catch him. Henratty, were you always like this? As long as I can remember. You know, I think I was born this way. Other kids wanted to play cops and robbers. I only wanted to play cops. It starts very early once the baby toy is gone. A kid on the playground has to choose which side he's on. It's the bullies or the good guys, boy, there ain't no middle ground. And the hoodlums try to blur the line and twist the truth around. And they call themselves a winner, but they're self-deceiving fools. Cause the game ain't worth a winning if you're breaking all the rules. The law is laid upon us when as kids we first ask why. Our parents set the rules with cause I said so, they reply. And though I thought I hated them, man, scream with all my might. Next time that I had a choice, gee whiz, I did what's right. No, I never snuck a drink, I never stole a pack of coops. Cause the game made worth the winning if you're breaking all the rules. Don't break the rules. Or else we're living in the wild, wild west. Don't break the rules. God's keeping score. You don't want to fail that test. Don't break the rules. You thumb your nose right at the lot for which I strive. But those rules, those laws keep us alive. It started back with Moses when he led around the Jews. The Jews. And climbed way up that mountain to pick up God's daily news. Tell me the news. He slept up on Mount Sinai, cried and begged on their behalf. Oh, Lord. He almost dropped those tablets when he saw that golden cat. Now we teach the Ten Commandments every Sunday in our school. Cause the game ain't worth a win if we're breaking all the rules. I guess the Constitution, boys, to some is too complex. They think our founding fathers fought so they could forge some checks. They see themselves Robin Hood stealing from the rich. They take well pay back is a bit Cause the world ain't sure with forest You can't give away those tools And the game made worth the winning If we're breaking down the rules Don't break the rules Or else we're living in the wild, wild west Don't break the rules God's keeping score You don't want to fail that test Don't break the rules You thumb your nose right at the lap for which I strive But those rules, the laws keep us alive money, screw his daughter or his wife, you don't think of repercussions as you tap dance through your life, though you smile like you're a hero, you're an outlaw, but the odds are in my favor, man, one day I'll catch you, so go sneak into a movie, run a red light, set the box, it's all the same to me, you're either guilty or you're not, we are Keep us human Life without them we're just mules And the game